Hey, how's it going? Today we're looking at extreme time stretching, and we're going to compare the different algorithms that are available in Reaper. Elastic 3.2 Pro, Elastic 3.2 Soloist, Elastic 3.2 Efficient, the new rubber band library, which was added in the 5.60 update, sound touch, high quality algorithm, simple windowed with the default settings. And we're also going to use the CDP extension and this is a free extension for Reaper. I've done a video on this before using the stretch time module, and I've got that set to four. All these other items here, they're set to a rate of 0.25, preserving the pitch when they're changing the rate. These are all um, 44.1 files. So it's kind of like the worst possible uh, stress test for these files. None of them are going to sound great in this situation stretching it out to four times its length you know it's it's going to be difficult for all of these algorithms but let's see how they do now first let's hear our source sounds i've got a drum loop okay i've got a uh, distorted pad sound then i have seal vocals and this is from the um hiss and roar library. And if you're a Stranger Things fan, uh, you might like to know that uh, this library was used for the sounds of the Demogorgon. Just a little trivia for you. So here's a little a bit of seal vocals. <laughs> Horrifying, but just you wait. So we got Elastic 3.2 Pro. Pretty bad, but uh, <laughs> but that's how it goes. All right, this next one is Elastic 3.2 Soloist Monophonic. So obviously there are huge glitches and things like that, but some of that stuff is really cool and uh, could be useful if you're looking to get glitches in your audio. So uh, I'm not gonna say don't use that one because that one has some really cool stuff um, as a kind of byproduct of that. So next one is Elastic 3.2 Efficient on the normal settings. Again, pretty glitchy. I'm showing you these different algorithms because they all have a different sound. Uh, they all have a lot of different options um, if you dig through the um, if you dig through the different uh, menus here, and they're going to sound different on different sources. So that's why I chose three different files. It's going to take us a little while to get through all these, but I think you'll find it interesting. All right, so here is the rubber band library with the detector on percussive. So that sounds a little bit weird. We can also set the uh, transients to crisp, mixed, smooth. There's a high quality pitch mode, short window. There's all these different things that are going to change the sound and get you better or worse results. Let's just move on. Uh, this one is the sound touch high quality setting. And I love the glitches in that one, uh, but not as much as the glitches in the simple windowed algorithm. So all the high end is completely gone. Uh, it sounds pretty dark, but cool glitchy stuff. Let me show you on the 300 milliseconds window, and this is the 50% fade. So this is one of my favorite settings because it's just unexpected, I guess. It's, it's a very weird setting. So yeah, 50 milliseconds with 25 millisecond fade is the uh, default setting for that one. All right. And now the CDP render, that extension that I showed you earlier, it can preview it more or less in real time, but it needs to be rendered 
uh, to add it to your session. And it's interesting that this one doesn't time align with any of the other files here. Let's check it out. I, I particularly like this first hit here. I'm gonna isolate just this part here. I just like that kind of warbly, glitchy sort of effect. All right, so now we're going on to this distorted pad sound. So here's the original. So that's like a, a square wave with lots of rich harmonics. There's some delay, lots of stuff going on. Let's see how these different stretch algorithms will handle this. Elastic 3 Pro is up first. Up next is the Elastic 3.2 Soloist. So once again, there's kind of some interesting um, pitch warbles that make that interesting, but not really the best possible sound for that. Um, not not super clean. And this is the Elastic 3.2 Efficient. And this one does almost as good of a job as the Elastic 3 Pro. Up next is the Rubber Band. The new one in Reaper 5.60. Here we go. Now this is the SoundTouch HQ, which is one that has quite a lot of glitches. And let's hear how it sounds on this type of sound. Kind of adds in a bit of distortion there at the beginning. Kind of interesting, not the best. Now here's simple windowed, which is usually the worst sounding. Again, maybe cool for a special effect, but probably not going to be your default pitch shift and time stretch algorithm. You wouldn't want this, uh, this sort of sound degradation to happen every time you're pitch shifting something or time stretching something. So uh, just keep that in mind. So this is the CDP render up next. And that one's pretty clean. If we compare that to Elastic Pro, sounds like this. And CDP. Seems kind of like less stereo actually at the beginning. That's interesting. All right, so now the seal sounds. So first the original. <laughs> And Elastic 3 Pro. And Elastic 3 Soloist. Pretty terrifying. <laughs> 
Elastic 3 efficient. So that one's clearly worse than Pro in this situation. Rubber Band Library is up next. Kind of glitchy, not really awesome sounding. Uh, this is all extreme time stretching with files that uh, are 44.1, so they're not. There's not a lot of information there to stretch. Uh, so this is all just kind of like uh, worst case scenario sort of things. Stress testing these, if you will. Um, so yeah, SoundTouch HQ is the next one. <laughs> And that sounds terrible as a time-stretching thing, but sounds great if you're entering the matrix. Up next is the simple windowed. And again, there's some cool stuff in there, especially in this area. It's definitely darker. You might have to add some uh, distortion to that to add harmonics back in there, get some high end in there again. Uh, but there's some cool stuff in there for sure. All right, and the last file I'll play for you is the CDP render of this. And I think that kind of has the cleanest sound out of all of them for stretching this particular file. So it really depends on what you're going for with the extreme time stretching. If you want it to sound clean, you might have to do a rendered file like with the, uh, the CDP. If you're just looking for glitches, then a lot of the low quality algorithms can sound really bad in a good way. If you're only stretching a little bit on a vocal, the soloist algorithm tends to sound better than the pro algorithm. Uh, so it's just something you have to experiment with and uh, try it out on a case by case basis. I don't have any rules for this other than the sound touch and the simple windowed are going to sound glitchy and weird, and they can sound way worse than that if you tweak the settings. And I have an example of that in my repitch tutorial where I'm using all these different algorithms and finding the kind of the worst settings and then finding an instrument that it sounds good on um, or interesting anyways. And yeah, so I encourage you to try this out, try out different algorithms on different sources using small amounts of time stretching or large amounts like this. Find where things break. What's the sweet spot for these? If you have a favorite combination of source and algorithm and settings, let me know in the comments. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.